Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be comparing three different ways to start charcoal. I got a ton of hate on a previous video that I did when I used lighter fluid, so I've learned from my mistakes. We're going to be using three different methods. We're going to be using the loof lighter, um, just a regular cheap Harbor Freight heat gun, as well as a charcoal chimney. The scenarios that we're going to compare, we're going to fill up the chimney um, full with charcoal. I'm using cheap charcoal. I, I know um, that you're going to hate on that as well. I, I now have moved on to lump charcoal, but, but seeing as that's more expensive for the test, I'm just going to use this crappy cheap charcoal. I'm going to fill up the chimney all the way to the top. I'm going to dump that out and use that as the amount that I'll try the loof lighter on and the heat gun and then fill the chimney and I'll use that amount uh, for the chimney. I'm also gonna test out just starting a few coals, like if you're doing the minion method or the snake method in a Weber, or if you have a Kamado style grill where you just wanna light um, a few of the coals and you're gonna do a long, um, slow smoke. So we're gonna compare the heat gun and the loof lighter, um, just doing a few coals and then all three on doing a bunch. Now a little bit about uh, each of these products. This is the loof lighter. Um, one of the things that I can see working out well is that it's longer than just a regular heat gun. So if you did have a Kamado style grill where you need to reach down inside, this is probably better as the gun is probably going to get your hand a little bit closer. Granted, this thing is by far the most expensive at $65. Um, they advertise that it has a bottle opener as well. Um, and, uh, and the way that you turn it on and keep it on is you have to actually hold the button down. Um, and that's how it starts blowing the air and heating up. Here's the Drill Master heat gun that I picked up from Harbor Freight for I think just under $12. Um, it says that it gets up to close to 1200 degrees, which is what the Loof Lighter um, advertises as well. I think what I'm gonna like about this is that the switch, you just, it has a high and low. When you put it on, you just press it down and the switch stays, so I don't need to hold that button down the whole time. I can see Maybe you'll get fatigued after a few minutes, I don't know. Um, but like I said on the loof lighter, this one is shorter, so it might give us problems if you had to reach down into a grill or something like that. And lastly, the trusty charcoal chimney, which you guys know about. I'm just kind of using that, because this is, this is what I use if I'm doing steaks or something like that. I just um, put a little lighter or some paper underneath it, fill it up with charcoal, and just kind of let it sit for 15, 20 minutes, come back and dump it out. So I wanna see how much faster the loof lighter or the heat gun will be and if it's worth it or if I should just use this. I know those are gonna be more active in starting the fire, but if it's just, you know, a few minutes versus 20, then maybe it will be worth it. This test will be using the loof lighter. Oh, the loof lighter. And um, I've got seven coals in there, so I'll use seven both times. Um, so this is simulating like if you wanted to do a smoke or something, you just want to light up a few coals. So we'll see how long it takes. And go. Okay, that was actually faster. <laughs> I didn't expect that. My hand was a little bit warmer, so I can understand the, you know, the loof lighter being longer and whatnot, but um, yeah, this lit up the same, the same number of coals, and I mean, actually less time. $12 versus almost $70. Yeah, this is looking, this is looking pretty good so far. All right, drill master on the big pile. Here we go. Yep gonna be out here a while okay I mean that was just about nine minutes to get that going I I had a little bit of trouble on the back side because the wind was blowing that way and I will say my hand got um, significantly hotter than on the loof lighter but that's just I mean I kind of knew that going in that this you know would be a little bit harder especially if you're reaching down into a Kamado grill um, 
Yeah, it's a little little warm on the hand, but I mean, that I I pegged that right around a little over nine minutes. The Lou Flyer was almost exactly the same because, let's be honest, that's exactly what the Lou Flyer is. It's just in a different shape, and I don't know, almost six times the cost. The chimney's lit about halfway up. I mean, if you're just starting a few coals or you don't care about getting your hand a little bit warm. This thing is this thing is awesome. Use use a heat gun. Pick up a, a cheap heat gun. This little heat gun did a pretty good job and stood toe to toe with the loof ladder. I, I, I was pretty impressed. Um, the downside being that your hand is much closer to the fire for two reasons: one, by design, and two, this just works better than, than this specific heat gun further away. Um, so those two things kind of are pretty big knocks against the heat gun. Maybe if you had a more powerful one, it would work better. I'm sure it would. Um, but the price difference, this just under, you know, 15 bucks or so. This, I believe, is somewhere around 65. So keep that in mind. If, if you don't want to spend $65, absolutely go for it for a, just a regular heat gun. Just keep in mind um, that you are probably going to have to get closer. Um, on the big coal test, they were neck and neck just about the same on the smaller coal test this uh, heat gun actually performed a little bit better I also like that um, this specific heat gun has a switch that you just switch to turn it on and then it stays on you don't have to actively press down the button like the loof lighter um, so if spending a ton of cash isn't something that you want to do for the loof lighter and you don't care about having a bottle opener at all then by all means I think this heat gun can absolutely do what you need it to do. Just think about your personal grill setup. If you have a Kamado style grill, I don't know if I'd want to actually stick my arm down inside the grill with this. You'd be pretty close. It'd probably be getting pretty hot. Um, this is, you know, designed for that. Um, you can also use either of them to start, a, you know, a traditional wood fire or a fire in your fireplace. So keep that in mind. Um, both pretty great. Um, just the overall length and power of the loof lighter I think might be worth it but again you know at four or five times the price of this little guy um, Amazon does have a heat gun that's I think under $20 if you want to check that out I'll put it um, in the description below for you to check out hopefully this video was helpful for you in deciding if you want a loof lighter or if you want to stick with the chimney or if you're gonna try a heat gun thank you so much for watching break it yourself we really appreciate you don't forget to thumbs me up, and we'll see you next time.